All right. <sighs> it's cold drill time again. John Dobb with KR Training, and for the September 18th edition of It's Cold Drill Time, I'm gonna start over. It's cold drill time again. John Dobb with KR Training. And for this September 18th, 2021 edition of It's Cold Drill Time Again, I want to talk about how these cold drills have been helping me get better in my shooting technique. So the reason I really like these cold drills is simply because they give you a very cold, sobering look at where your skills really are. You'll see the things that you're good at, but especially you're going to see the things that you're going to need a lot of work on. And that's certainly been the truth and the case for me. I've been seeing some things in the past uh, cold drills that I've been shooting where one of the things that I've been seeing, well, the big thing that I've been seeing is I've been seeing uh, trigger slapping, trigger jerking, trigger yanking, however you want to call it. But basically the thing where like, you know, as a right-handed shooter, that your shots are going that low left kind of thing. The thing that's been really interesting for me is that as there's always this correction of like, well, so how do you correct that? How do you do that? And everything always gets oriented towards trigger control, how you press the trigger, what you're doing with the trigger and the trigger manipulation. But the thing that's been interesting for me, and there's actually a long journey of how I kind of got to this point in this realization, which I'm hoping to do a video on uh, at some other point. But in short, what happened was I saw what I was doing and I had talks with, I talked with Carl. Uh, there was some one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching from Brian Hill, uh, some Instagram posts from Mike Seeklander, along with an, an article on concealedcarry.com from Riley Bowman, which linked to an article, uh, sorry, to a video from Rob Latham. And this confluence of my situation and what I was thinking about and all these things put together make me think that really what my problem is, is one of not trigger control, but grip control. And there's a lot that really goes into this. Uh, and again, just a limited time here, so I can't go too deep and I hope for that other video. But the, 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 the long and short is it's something like uh, Rob said in his video, something to the effect of, look, when you run the gun hard and you run the gun fast, you're going to slap the trigger. So learn how to slap the trigger while not moving the gun, right? Mind blown. Okay. Big realization there about things because again, for, you know, again, for some people, you know, learning to run the trigger better is the thing. And that's what everyone's been telling me, but really for Neanderthal me, uh, really it's kind of this whole thing about being able to sit there and manage that grip better because that's where it seems my problem is. Like I said, I, there's, I hope to do that video to explain a little bit more in depth about it. Here's the thing. So the cold drills have been exposing that to me and I've only been able, because of a confluence of things in life, I've only been able to get to the range to do live fire just a couple times in the past few months. It has mostly all been working in dry practice. And while I think that I'm starting to get it and starting to figure out what I need, it is in by no way uh, part of my muscle memory. It's not myelinated yet into, uh, you know, in, into me as for what to do. So actually, and like last week, uh, I was up in McLeod, Oklahoma at Mead Hall Range, uh, and I was participating in the DTI instructor program with John and Vicki Farnham. And that was the first time that I actually got to actually do some real shooting live fire with uh, and trying to work on and put this into play. And things came out all right, relatively speaking, but the, uh, it's certainly not there for me. So I got to admit, shooting this here, uh, doing this cold drill today is a little bit, uh, I got a little bit of anxiety on this here because here I am going to document it here to the world for life and ever as to how much I suck. So, uh, but we're going to see how this is going to go. Uh, I'm just going to do something really simple. I'm just going to shoot the five by five drill, but a variation on it. And instead of starting from the ready position, I'm actually going to start uh, from the draw because it's important to be able to get that acquisition of grip. That's the big thing that I, you know, that's all part of this. It's not just being able to start at the ready and I can spend a few seconds while I'm waiting for the timer to get my grip all the way it needs to be. I want to have that moment of having to acquire my grip in order to go. So let's see what this is going to be because it's cold drill time again.
let's take a see here. So we have this here. One, two, three, four, five. So here's the thing about this that's actually interesting is that for sure <laughs> the low left thing isn't happening. Things are a little bit low, a little bit this. Because one of the things that I have been seeing out of this now is as I've been doing this, uh, it, it's naturally changing, the, if you will, the natural feel of how my sights are lining up. So it's a little bit more now. It's like, well, I'm getting this and it's showing now that as I'm gripping it really hard like that, it's changing a bit of the angle that I'm used to for my sights to be at. And so this is something that I'm actually having to play with a little bit more now too, is working on my sights, mining that and so forth. So all in all though, I'm actually really happy with this because this is showing me that I am working on really focusing on getting that grip, having that there, keeping it all good. So to me, this is progress. This is happy. Still more things to work on, which is why I love these cold drills for the things that it's showing you. So anyways, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate that. Uh, don't forget, you can go to the krtraining.com website to buy a copy of Carl and my book, Strategies and Standards for the Defensive Handgun Training. And as well, you can download a copy of my free ebook, Drills, Qualifications, Standards, and Tests off that krtraining.com website. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you going and traveling with me here on this journey of trying to make myself suck less. So thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Be strong. Ahem. <clears throat>